Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video I'm going to react to Triumph attends Trump's inauguration. So I believe Triumph is a dog that, uh, that Conan has in his production crew. I'm not really sure but I reacted to some, uh, some skits like this a few months ago and they were really really funny and this one has been uh, re uh, recommended to me. I've really got no idea what to expect but Conan, I think he was one of the writers on The Simpsons, on the early Simpsons series, uh, seasons, which for me are my favourite seasons of The Simpsons. He's a genuinely funny dude, so I'm expecting this to be pretty funny too. Let's find out. USA! USA! Inauguration day in Washington DC is often bitter cold, but this is the first year that it's also freezing in hell. <laughs> yes, today Donald Trump will be sworn in. And on Monday, he will move into the White House, continuing his long tradition of evicting black families. <laughs> oh my God. Here by the nation's capital, it's gray and overcast. Yes, the sun, just one more of the many big stars that refuse to show up for this event. <laughs> Look at this inspiring mass of overweight, overaged, predominantly white humanity. <laughs> Nothing but Rosans and Fieris, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> yes, if a Walmart could vomit, this is the Ooh -hoo. Wow, oh my god. It's like a pickup joint for seniors. Last time I saw this much white hair, Madonna was getting out of a limo without panties. <laughs> as you can see, there is incredible secret service and police presence. It takes a lot of people to make sure that Melania doesn't run away. <laughs> She's pretty old. Did you see her, those naked pictures of her? No, I didn't. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Well, let's just say they should call her Laura No Bush. <laughs> because she saves her. Interestingly, uh, Donald Trump has such a bad reputation with women. Even the Bible he's supposed to put his hand on has just filed a restraining order. <laughs> Might as well make some. Wow, man. Th these jokes are fantastic. Punchy, not holding back at all. Money off of these idiots. Here we go. Who needs tickets? Okay, I got, um, I have a couple of tickets in the anti-Semitic section, but I think I can get you an upgrade into the anti-Muslim section. Oh. Yeah, perfect, yeah. There we see former President Bill Clinton here. Bill Clinton, a stark reminder of a more dignified, genteel administration <laughs> when vaginas were probed by cigar, not by hand. <laughs> now coming up to the standard, the Trump sons, oh. also known as the less motivated Menendez brothers. <laughs> Are you excited for a Trump presidency? Absolutely. So what do you do for fun besides drawing devil horns on Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> Hola. Woo, zingers, man. You're a Latino for Trump? Yes. No, so let me ask you in your language out of respect. Yes. Que c hasta mal contigo? <laughs> I have a lot in common with Trump, actually, you know? Yeah, the only difference is the hand up my ass isn't Vladimir Putin's. <laughs> you see, because, because he is a puppet. <laughs> of course, health care is an issue of great importance to Trump supporters, as many of them have a pre-existing mental condition. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is brutal. Healthcare crap, right? Yeah. Obamacare. It was designed to be difficult. I know. That's the way it is. And as an owner of a small business, this must have killed you. You probably were forced to lay off so many of the employees in your meth lab. Yeah. Now look what I have. Here. I'm selling a life-size replica of the Bible Donald Trump is being sworn in on. Put your hand next to it. <laughs> Because it's small, right? And they say Trump has tiny hands, I think. Oh. See? See how it makes your hand look big? <laughs> Have another hat. Let's, um, let's update the slogans, okay? That's for you. America gonna great, yes. Uh, and then for you, how about, it's home of the brave, not homo of the butt rave. And, and for you, of course, hey, bitch, bring me a Coors. There we go. Whoever's holding the puppet, man, he is a funny guy. Who is this? And right here, enjoy, sir. I have no idea what's going on. So, uh, check it out. Right now, I'm here talking to uh, these guys. They call themselves Bikers for Trump. 
Yes, and I'm going to take a wild guess that those aren't exercise bikes. <laughs> okay, sir. Can you tell me why you voted for Trump in three hateful Ooh. words or less? I <laughs> am tired. No, that is good. That works. Bump Obama. Mike Pence will take the vice presidential oath of office, administered by Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, in what will be the closest Pence has ever stood to a black man. <laughs> and look at our vice president. He's amazing. He is such a beautiful man. Come on, honestly, Mike Pence is so uptight he has to take a roofie to masturbate. <laughs> now, the Trump supporters aren't as lame as I want them to be. So I have to figure out, it's just gonna take a second, okay? Liberals and conservatives disagree on so much, it seems. But I want to bring them together. Now, we all agree. The thing I, you know, they're all taking it really well, which is good to see. They're all taking it in good humor. They're laughing a lot. You know, that's what you want, because it's just comedy. I could imagine some people probably, you know, would get offended and stuff by these jokes, but it's great just to see these people just having a laugh. Agree on Betty White, right? Yes. Wouldn't you say that Betty White rules? Yes. Would you repeat that? Betty White rules? Betty White rules. Exactly, thank you very much. Yes, let's say it. <laughs> Betty White rules. Betty White rules. White rules. White forever. White forever. White is the best. White is the best. White is the best. White power. For MSNBC, this is triumph, the insult kind. <laughs> Donald Trump being sworn in as president. Right now, millions of Americans are peeing in their pants. Ironically, this only serves to strengthen Trump's erection. The 45th president of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. <laughs> this American carnage stops right here and he does that a lot doesn't he when he talks <laughs> i've just noticed that stops right now what a powerful speech it was you liked it, it was fantastic. i love the reverent nod to fdr when trump declared that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself and also muslims mexicans most of the middle east all of africa except south africa uh, buzzfeed access hollywood chemtrails lizard people undercover cops posing as hookers undercover dudes posing as lady hookers germs snakes saturday night live and uh backstabbing bruce springsteen cover band the parade is wrapping up it's been a contentious day but i wanted people on both sides to come together so who's holding the puppet is it this guy here who that guy and have an intelligent conversation oh that guy i can't see any mouths moving about the next 40 years what do you oh him him in the back I think will it be foreign policy or the economy that would take priority in president trump's <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. oh god i'm sorry i'm sorry just not used to saying it you know, it's, it's the first day, it takes a little getting used to. Okay, so we're fine. We're fine. Given the problems that have already happened with Taiwan, will foreign policy be President Trump's... <laughs> okay, surely one of you has an opinion on this, okay? Now we're talking about the first hundred days. Anybody? Well, I think he was elected because of the economy, but... Okay, fair enough. Ironically, President Trump... Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, we get this, we get this. All right, I get this, I get it. okay, I get this! All over the dock. All right, uh, interesting food for thought. Let's all be positive and look forward to the next four years with President Trump. <laughs> brilliant oh wow that was way 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 funnier than i expected it to be i thought it would be funny because obviously conan's involved but honestly that was truly hilarious whoever wrote those jokes and the guy controlling the puppet did an amazing job and like i mentioned in the video i'm glad that the people in attendance took it all in good humor they were all laughing along with the jokes great to see you know this was really funny i'm definitely gonna find more clips like this of triumph for the dog because yeah if they were as funny if they were as funny as this i need to see them thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one